Hi, in this video I will teach you how one can use the formulas for e of x, y to show that two random variables are not independent. Let's see what is the example. x and y are two random variables and e x is equal to 2 and e y is equal to 3. Um, it is known that their product I denoted by Z um, has the following PDF table. This is the table. Now the question says, is it possible that X and Y are independent random variables? Well, you have seen in the previous videos that I mentioned that if, uh, if two random variables are independent as a result, so let me just recall this, all this if x and y are independent then we can say that e of x y is equal to e x e y yes uh, well how I'm going to use this now you see that e x is given so e x is equal to 2 e y is equal to 3 now if I can show that if we can show that e of x y which in this case is just e of z is not equal to e of x times e of y which means that it's not equal to 6, then we can conclude that x and y are, are not independent random variables. Well, basically, we need to check EXY or EZ. What is EZ? Well, okay, in this case, EZ, the PDF is given, so EZ is easy to find. Multiply the value to the table, multiply it to the value, value of the random variable to the probability, all three, and then add them. So in this case, EZ, by the way, you have to remember, this is E of XY. Z is just another name for x, y, is equal to 0 times 0 0.1 uh, plus 1 times 0 0.7 plus 5 times 0 0.2. As a result, first one is 0, second one is 0 0.7, the third one is two, 0 0.2 times 5 is just 1. So E of z is 1.7 and obviously uh, hence e of x y which we showed is 1.7 is not equal to 6 which is e of x time e of y as a result of this computation we can definitely say that x and y cannot be independent random values. So you see, uh, checking independency, well, you need lots of uh, information for that, but just this is a checkpoint. If E X Y is not equal to E X times E Y, you can definitely Right away, conclude that x and y are not independent random variables.